episode 10 is called Encounter with the Unknown. So guys, last episode was really good. We left off with these villains coming in. Uh, the weird villains, definitely the villain with the, the hand on the face or whatever. All oh, the hands all over his body. Uh, we met a new character called 13. I love her character very much. I think she's a really cool character. We found out her powers are like, I think, like the black hole. She could create a black hole and suck things in there and it turns into dust type of thing. Uh, so, and then we saw that Eraser Head's you know about the gear up to action so we're gonna definitely see him fight uh for the first time like really really fight so i'm really looking forward to seeing that as well so i'm just really wondering what deku's gonna do to help i don't know if they're gonna just stay behind we know that all might can't really do anything because his power is kind of worn down a little bit so he has to kind of recharge but yeah i'm really looking forward to seeing this episode i we got like this episode and then we got three more episodes and yeah we're done with season one we'll definitely i have to buy the next uh blu-ray you know, case with the season two in it. Yeah, I'm really forward to seeing this guy, so let's check out this next episode. Oh, here they come. What is that thing? I know, I don't know what that is. Has the training started already? I thought we were rescuing people. Stay back! The only real heroes I see are 13 and Eraserhead. Oh, you scumbags used the press as a cover and sneaked onto campus. I believe he's not here. Maybe if I kill a few kids, he'll come out to play. Thank you. Uh, that day, we learned what the pro heroes are really up against. The darkness they face to keep us safe. Ugh. We looked at these villains. Your evil stared back. Whatever their plan, they must have a concrete objective in mind. But what is it? 13, get them out of here and alert the main campus. Actually, if they've got the ability to block our sensors, then they might be jamming our regular communications too. What are you gonna do? You can't fight them on your own. There's too many of them. Even if yeah, you can nullify their quirks. Can't be a pro if you only have one trick. I'll leave it to you, 13. Shooting squad, take your aim. My quirk. Where are my bullets? Amazing. You can cancel your quirks just by looking at you. Cancellation? Bet you can't erase the quirk of a heteromorphic type like me! You're racing you. Yeah, you're right. Oh. 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 A villain like you is only dangerous if you can reach me. I'm taking measures to make sure that never happens. Oh. Oh. their asses! One of you gutter punks is next. Oh. I'm scared. He's holding them off. I guess I shouldn't have underestimated him. There is no escape for you. I blinked and the guy who seems like the most trouble got away. Pleasure to meet you. We are the League of Villains. I know it's impolite. Decided to invite ourselves into this haven of justice to say hello. And besides, isn't this a fitting what place for All Might, the symbol of peace, to take his last breath? He was supposed to be here today and yet I see no sign of him. There must have been some sort of change in plans we could not have foreseen. In the end, I suppose it doesn't matter. I still have a role to play. Nope. You think we were just gonna stand around and let you tear this place to shreds? You live up to your school's reputation. But you should be more careful, children. Otherwise, someone might get hurt. Meet my comrades and your death! What? Wow, I don't even know what he is. Whoa. Must have a warping quirk. They came here to kill All Might. I guess it's a good thing he's not in class right now. What the heck? First catch of the day, but you gotta die! Oh, good, too. Thank you! Nice save. For a frog, you've got some pretty big boob, Thu. Perfect floaties. <laughs> Such a per. <laughs> <laughs> you saved my life, Asui. I told you to call me Sue. Sue you, Asui! Her quirk? Frog. It's pretty self-explanatory. She could basically do anything a frog can. Knew our whole schedule and who would be here. They yeah. must have gotten into school files while we were all stuck in the cafeteria. If the villains spent so much time planning this attack, then they probably figured out a way to kill him. <gasps> True that. And didn't you hear what that smoke guy said? Maybe we should worry more about not getting tortured to death. Otherwise, we might not survive long enough to see All Might again. 
And even if he does show up, who knows if he'll make it out in one piece. <laughs> no, the pros are gonna save us, right? You bastards! I'll enjoy eating you! <laughs> All water people. Plus, we might be right. They're here for All Might. They may have a way to defeat him. Him out of all the heroes. Because his very existence discourages villains and evil? I don't care what their reasons are. They have to focus. Fear not, citizens. Hope has arrived. Is he gonna try to control it? Because I am here. We have to face this evil. Head on! We have to work together and keep All Might safe. No one at UA knows what's happening. This is up to us. Let's be heroes. Oh! Aren't you embarrassed to lose to a child? For God's sake, you're adults. Put up a real fight. Best freaking war ever. Maybe I should just show up and say something inspiring at the end. I get a good ten minutes out of my hero form. Time to join my students. Ah! Uh, horses. Hello, Nezu, sir. That's me. The one who could be a mouse or a dog or a Nezu? bear. Though the only important thing is. I'm the principal! You've always been proactive. Only now your heroism must be limited due to your injury. Plus, you've also got the added work of training one for all successor. You insist on remaining the symbol of peace. And the only way you can justify uh, staying out of the spotlight is by change. teaching. That's why I gave you this job. It looks like you need to stay here in the lounge and relax a little while longer. I'm still a little concerned that I couldn't get in touch with 13 or Aizawa. Let's start by discussing combat pedagogy as viewed through the lens of ethical... Oh, okay, get to him. You haven't changed much all these years either, sir. As long as you can get outside, they won't follow. Blow this stupid mist away with those engine legs. Right. Use your quirk to save others. Be a real hero. I can help you out. <laughs> Just like I did when I floated you in the cafeteria. Okay? No frog. Please, class rep, do it! Even if this is your only option, are you really foolish enough to strategize in front of your enemy? It won't matter if you know what we're planning or not when I'm done with you! Wait, are you that was cool. These guys might be able to kill all of us, and you think we can take them? Did you hit your head when we got warped here? Best plan is for us to just wait for He's a real crew from UA to come and save us! Villains down there clearly have an advantage in the water, and assume that's where we'll fight. Are you even listening? If that's the case, they must have known what was inside the USJ before they warped it. There's one thing that really sticks out to me, something that just doesn't add up. Sent you here, Asui. Oh, uh, um, whoops, I meant Sue. Yeah, they warped you to the shipwreck zone. But why does it matter that she's here? Yeah, okay, right. It means the villains probably have no idea what our quirks are. You've got a point. If they knew I was a frog, they would have sent me into that fire zone over there instead of somewhere full of water. They probably separated us because they didn't know what we could do and planned to overpower us once we were in smaller groups. None of them are trying to climb into the boat. That proves they're a little unsure. But that means they're not going to underestimate us either. I figured you were powerful, but that's crazy. I'm strong, but it comes at a price. Once I use my power, I'm pretty much out of commission. It's a double-edged sword until I can control it. I've got these sticky balls. Their strength varies. Depending on how I'm feeling, they might stick to something a whole day. Go back as fast as I can pull them off. But I'll bleed if I use too many. Ah, don't look at me like that! This is why I said we should wait for the real heroes! My quirk is totally unfit for battle and we're gonna- Oh, you have an incredible power! Help to figure out how to use it! Let's get the show on the road! That's a Damn, it's sinking the ship. What the hell are these things? Wait, they're afraid to touch them. <sighs> Throw one on them. Fully submerged in less Throw than a one minute. on him. And once they're in the water, they don't stand a chance against us. Are you really sure the hero thing is right for you? Shut up! It's harder not to be scared right now! We just got out of Junior Eye a little while ago! I didn't think I'd be facing death a few days after starting you, eh? He's, He's freaking out! Now's our chance. We can beat them! Poor babies sound like they're crying for their mommies up there! Don't forget, Shigaraki told us to keep our guards up. We can't judge them by how old they are. Of course, we'll definitely have an advantage in the water. So I'm not exactly worried for us. Ah! Come on, act like caught on one! You. Whoa! Don't Stupid move, kid! Even if I use a smash, I can't get them all at once when they're in a circle like that! I can't sacrifice my arm just yet! 
Focus! Remember the image of the egg not exploding! Hey, Mineta. Even though he's as scared as I am, it's still going through with this. Ah, no, he broke! Yeah, I broke his fingers. Alright guys, that was a really good episode for My Hero Academia. We got to see Deku, Sue, and I can't remember the uh, little guy's name, uh, but they managed to escape out of there, like, thank God, because Deku, man, he really pulled it off there. Like, he sacrificed two of his fingers, but, I mean, it is what he knew, he knew the price of it, but he didn't use his whole arm. I was like, thank God he didn't use the entire arm. Yeah, he managed to get out of there. We already know this was carefully planned out. They obviously wanted All Might, definitely from that there was like a credit scene where they, that's all they want. They all, they just want All Might. They just want him gone, really. And everyone's just really wondering why the alarm didn't go off in the school. So uh, Ida is going right now to, you know, sound that alarm so people can at least know that there's something going on. All Might definitely, he doesn't know what's going on. He's talking, he was talking to the principal guy, uh, but we already know he's gonna be talking for like a long time with him. I'm really wondering if he's gonna find out or not. I mean, obviously he's already curious, so he wants to definitely go check it out to see what's going on. And Eraser head was freaking epic. He man, he took pretty much he could like take all those people out And then of course 13's uh, cork is freaking amazing as well seeing that uh, sucking up the purple uh, Thing whatever I can't remember what they call it, but it was so cool to see that but yeah I enjoyed the episode very much guys Please post your comments down below tell me think about this awesome episode from my hero academia If you guys enjoyed this reaction don't forget to like in the video Please don't forget to sub to the channel and guys, please check out the patreon page the full episode will be on there guys stay focused stay motivated to the next my hero academia